The following show is brought to you by Confidence Academy Philippines and Edutrainment Learning Services. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Learn face-to-face -face communication skills and conversational fluency with Miss V, that's me, at Edutrainment Learning Services. Send us a private message here on Show and Tell Radio and we're going to give you tips, tools, and techniques and even pick up lines. The time is exactly 3.03 p.m. Mandela time. Today is Monday, the first Monday of January year 2020. Happy, healthy, progressive, productive, and relevant, significant new year to all of you. May 2020 make your dreams come true. Easily and effortlessly, of course. Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao at sa buong mundo via internet live streaming. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon at magandang gabi. Sa atin mga kapamilya, kapuso, kapatid, kapo, sa katropa, kabata, kaibigan, ka-Facebook, ka-blog, ka-Twitter, ka-Instagram at ka-YouTube. Welcome to Show and Tell, Year 8, Season 30, Episode Number 388. Thank you for being with us through the years. My name is Ms. V. I am the director and producer of this program and your host for the next 60 minutes. Be entertained as you get informed. Show and Tell is an entrepreneur show. For entraps, by entraps, and with entraps. Informative and fun. Tune in every Monday at 3 p.m. DWBL 1242 AM Radio, live streaming on Facebook, live streaming on YouTube. Look for Show and Tell Radio. So join Miss V, that's me for the next hour. Remember, for your comments and reactions, send us a line or two. Go to Show and Tell Radio on Facebook and read my column called Hai Nako in Opinion Paper, available in Fully Book, Power Books, and National Bookstore. My column is available online. Like us on Facebook, Hai Nako Pinoy. My partner is Dr. Jason Bascos, known as Doc J. Our advocacy is mental health and emotional wellness. Focusing on attitude, behavior, and character because remember, no matter how bright you think you are or how high your grades are in school and you are book smart, if you have attitude, behavior, and character that is not acceptable, you will have a problem integrating with the rest of the world. In plain language, it means no one's gonna like you. Madam Guest, is your headset fine? Yes, no? There you go. Again, a simple reminder as the new year comes in. This is our first Monday of the year. First episode of Show and Tell for the year 2020. Remember to be focused on your attitude, behavior, and character. So that you can easily relate and connect to people. Remember... If I have to put it in a nutshell, talk in a language that they understand. There you go. That's going to be our theme for this episode on clarity. For the students, graduation is coming soon. Remember, you might be able to memorize everything that's in your book. But when it comes to class recitation, oh, problem. And I help people with presentations, with their pitch. You are fine with your PowerPoint, but what happens when open forum comes around, when the angel investors 
just throw in those questions you weren't ready for. Just remember, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, relax, be focused, and listen actively to what they're saying. What is it exactly that they'd want to know? What exactly is their question about? And then clearly compose your thoughts and deliver it in a very simple and concise, meaning short manner, so that they pick up right away that you understood the question. Why am I saying that at the beginning of the year? Remember, you have 12 months ahead of you. I'm sure you have your dreams and your wish list. If you are vague because you have so many dreams that you have in mind, I don't know where you're going to be by the end of this quarter. Madam Guest, does that make sense? Yeah, sounds familiar, huh? <laughs> yes, we're going to be talking about that today. Yeah, focus and clarity. Our theme for this year is clarity, okay? Now, a brief review. Everybody's got a story to tell. What's your story? My name is Miss V. Allow me to help you tell the world about your story in a clear and simple manner. Now, we all know, for those of you who have been with us for a couple of years, a quick review for the newcomers that we have a theme every year. Year one theme was entrepreneurship. Year two, creativity. Year three, innovation. Year four, feedback. Year five, open mind. Year six, corrective action. Year seven, focus. And we're now on year eight, clarity. You can see it's ladderized learning. Show and Tell Radio with Miss V is a school on air for entrepreneurs, by entrepreneurs, and with entrepreneurs. And other than having a theme for the year, we have a theme for the week. Something that you can focus on and share with your friends, your relatives, and your frenemies. And people say, what are frenemies? You know, the people you thought were your friends but were backstabbing characters. Yeah, they seem to be enemies after all, so those are frenemies. You help them, okay? So they become better, decent human beings. So here it is, our first quote to inspire you and guide you for the next seven days. Share it, pass it around, and ask people for their opinions and comments and reactions. So it's a quote from Billy Cox. Madam Guest, give me your feedback on this. And the quote from Billy Cox is, Clarity is power. The more clear you are about what you want, the more likely you are to achieve it. I will repeat it again for the second time once more, this time with feeling over and over again. Quote is, Clarity is power. The more clear you are about what you want, the more likely you are to achieve it. Quote from Billy Cox. Now, you're wondering, why did I choose this quote for our first episode for year 2020? Let me ask you, I'm sure you have a wish list. Your famous reruns and replays of your New Year's resolutions, right? My question is, if it's the same resolutions you've had for the past how many years, maybe you didn't get it because you were not clear, precise, and concise about what you want and how you want to make it happen. Hala! Ah, a little wake-up call, all right? A lot of people I talk to when I ask them, what do you want in year 2020? Oh my God, 95% said, I want to get rich. I said, that's nice. So how are you going to make it happen? And they tell me, work harder. And so I ask them some more. What exactly will you be doing 
to be working harder than you did last year. And they said, well, spend more time working instead of horsing around. And so I asked them, what will you be doing spending more time if you're still doing the wrong things you did last year? So how can spending more time doing wrong things make things better? <laughs> at that point in time, they look at me like, you're giving me a headache. And I'm like, oh, I thought I was helping clarify. You see, clarity is something we all have to work on. I wasn't born this way. I had to learn my lessons um, the hard way, right? And understand that I had to be bullseye clear about what I want and how I will do it to make it happen. So my challenge to all of you is this. Look at your wish list. Look at your list of resolutions. When I ask you for this famous line I have, choose one. People say, ah, hey, hey, I can't choose one. They panic, Madam Guest, like they can't choose one. So I tell them, okay, narrow it down to five. And they're like, ah, still many. Oh, sige, ten. So they narrow it down to ten. So you try this. Then from ten, you, you take out your old list, okay? Then you look at the ten. And then I'm going to tell you right now, narrow it down to five. This is simple decision making. From five, narrow it down to three. Sounds like Miss Universe, no? Oh, di ba? Treat yourself like Miss Universe to three. And from the three, it's hard enough to do one. You know, like bullseye target. Okay, put the third in the bigger ring, your second choice in the smaller ring, and a pinpoint what is your number one goal and wish for 2020 that you will work on specifically in a productive manner every day of your life that you wake up thinking about it and you go to sleep thinking about it and don't just think as in think i'm talking about what corrective action will you be doing if, if it didn't get you closer to your target yesterday when I say think, when Miss V over here says think, I talk about what corrective action will get you closer to your goal. So think of life like a dartboard. You know how, how long it takes and how many times you have to keep throwing those darts to finally get the bullseye consistently. Not once in a blue moon. Oy, Miss Guest is already freaking out. Yeah, the buy you're good if you can get that right into the bullseye every time and that's how i want you to do it remember i'm not talking about theories and principles here i make a conscious effort am i perfect no am i bullseye all the time no but i make a conscious effort to focus on what i will do to make it bullseye okay so that's my gift to you for year 2020 trim down your wishes to 10 narrow it down to five make it like a miss universe contest top three and then draw three th circles big medium small which is the center boom you wake up with your action plan you go to sleep with an action plan and if it didn't work any better yesterday make it better today and tomorrow and i wish you the best of luck get in touch with me right i'm gonna help you with clarity okay because some people just have too many dreams call me that's what i'm here for catch me send me a private message on show and tell radio i will help you promise <laughs> yes that's what i do my name is miss v and my advocacy is mindset management people say they want a better life i said no you do not life doesn't change you change your mindset and everything else follows your actions your thoughts your plans and then your life will change and most of all you change the way you react to people don't react respond react is to react so if they shout at you don't shout right back at them right it's not gonna get you anywhere just focus on what do you want to happen and get there they want to scream at you fine let them scream they want to criticize you and they have no reason to 
that them. But if it's criticism to help you with your goals, listen attentively. And then if you can't figure it out, ask them. You said that, help me make it happen. Because if they criticize you, they must have a better idea. And if they say, I don't have a good idea, then do what I do. Just look at them and say, well, it's nice to know that you don't have a better idea. And thank you for reminding me. The next time you want to hit me, please hit me with the gift. In the meantime, don't make me cry. <laughs> so sometimes a little bit of humor works. So that's what I do, edutrainment. I educate and train using entertainment, especially we're here in Pinoy land. We can't tell people what to do academically, intellectually. Ah, they want to have a little bit of humor. So again, that's why I created edutrainment learning services. I educate and I train using entertainment. A little humor goes a long way. Remember, when people take things personally, they stop listening to what we're saying. So make sure your well-meaning remarks do not offend them. And if you've crafted it so nicely and they're still offended, then draw the line and realize that they have issues. That's why they're offended. So there you go. If you want to help yourself and others make things happen for and with you, don't just tell them, show and tell them what you have in mind. And that's why we have show and tell here. So call me for workshop seminars as well as one-on-one. -on -one. Coaching, mentoring, and just helping you, you know, get rid of the cobwebs in your mind. And especially after the holidays, Madam Guest, people still have this mental fog. It, it's, it's still kind of cloudy. <laughs> I'm talking about myself. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice long holiday. So again, call me if you want to be doing pitch and presentation. People's number one fear supposedly is public speaking. And obviously, I am a public speaker. I'll help you make it happen. Make your statements clear, precise, concise, and help you learn how to answer. You know, Miss Universe style, okay? Help you learn how to answer not just Q&A, but the open forum. Remember, uh, it's easy to prepare for Q&A if you know the frequently asked questions. But open forum, that's wild. So you have to really focus and understand what is the point in the question and what is the point you want to make. And that's where I'll come in and help you. Pick up lines, all right, and crafting simple answers. That's what I like doing, and I believe I've helped many people do, and I'd like to help more of you. Call me. Remember, private message, Facebook, Show and Tell Radio. All right, and as we move along, a simple reminder for people who say, I miss being so hard the man to do new things. I said, well, if you keep doing what you're doing, you'll keep getting what you're getting. Oh, Madam Guest is laughing here. Hey. I didn't invent that. It was Einstein who said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I didn't make that up. All right, time check. The time is exactly 3.21 p.m. Manila time. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Learn face-to-face -face communication skills and conversational fluency with Miss V. That's me at Edutrainment Learning Services. And if you want to learn how to be more confident, read up and listen to my latest tips, tools, and techniques on Confidence Academy Philippines. Find it in Facebook. That's Confidence Academy Philippines. Like and share. And talking about confidence, yes, I'm going to give you some tips, tools, and techniques. And before I do that, I would like to greet our favorite friends. Um, Mabuhay and Happy New Year, PNP, Philippine National Police Anti-Cyber Crime Group. Thank you for monitoring uh, people who have been acting not too... <laughs> not too nice 
Okay, online. Thank you for monitoring and doing corrective action. So, Mabuhay PNP Anti-Cybercrime Group, Philippine National Police. And as far as confidence is concerned, people say that the number one fear is public speaking. But beneath the fear of public speaking is what seems to be social anxiety. And what is it? Plainly put, social anxiety is the fear of being judged and evaluated negatively by other people, leading to feelings of inadequacy, inferiority, self-consciousness, embarrassment, humiliation, and sad to say, sometimes even depression. So first things first, stop taking things personally, okay? And if you have a fear of public speaking, allow me to help you gain more confidence and rise above any signs and symptoms you may have that might reflect social anxiety. I wish you well. Come on, make yourself more confident. Year 2020, make things happen for yourself. Because after all, if you don't believe in yourself, people can see through that. How can they believe in you? Hi, Madam Guest, kawawa naman. <laughs> and again, for people who have social anxiety, you will never, never, never counter-attack. Don't do that, huh? Because some people do that in self-defense, fight or flight. They fight back. And they even change the topic just, you know, to start a fight. And that's called deflection. Deflection, it's a big word, no? Simple. Deflection is changing the topic when the spotlight is on you. Like if people say something and you're like, hey, that's not me, and then you change the topic. Be aware that when you change the topic and counter-attack, that's called deflection, and people can see through you like, ah, changing the topic, guilty, <laughs> then you get angrier. So if there's a topic at hand, address it. Ask people, what is it you did? Um, why is it not acceptable to them and ask for suggestions you'll be surprised that when people complain about you they might have suggestions hey you have to pay consultants or the bad then you get it for free when they tell you what they want all right time check the time now is exactly 3.25 p.m. Manila time. And that time check was brought to you by Edutrainment Learning Services. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Learn face-to-face -face communication skills and conversational fluency with Miss V. That's me. And now we're going to do our most requested relaxation portion which we do on every show so everybody sit back and relax that includes uh, madam guest the people outside and the people in the tech room okay so lean back uh wait let go of your technology for the next uh 30 seconds um hands on your lap not cross but just simply put on your lap okay now relax Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Now close your eyes, Madam Guest, that includes you. Inhale, and exhale. One more time now, inhale, and exhale, and relax. Watch your thoughts, because they become your words. Watch your words, because they become your actions. Watch your actions because they become your habits. Watch your habits because they form your character. And watch your character. It will define your destiny. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Smile and open your eyes. Why how nice naman this smile of our guest. You want to sleep? Yeah, many of our guests want to sleep. <laughs> All right, I hope that put you in a reboot state, right? And it's funny, you don't have to do massive steps to go into deep meditation. That simple reboot that 
people tell me is so refreshing. It, it's like giving them an extra kick, like a, what a cup of coffee does for them in the middle of the afternoon. So do that as often as you can during the day. First things first in the morning, do that during uh, your noon break after your lunch and make it the last thing before you sleep. Because remember, your thoughts lead to your destiny. So choose what you think about. I actually recommend to people, stop reading horrible news before you sleep, whether online or in the newspaper, and watching terrible things on cable or on Facebook, right, before you sleep. Because when you doze off, that's the last image in your mind, and it's going to run the whole night. And you wonder, you wake up angry, you wake up tired, and you wake up in a state of panic. So, one hour before you think you're gonna fall asleep change your focus no more yucky unhappy news or articles just look for nice articles uh, see if you can put meditation music whatever it takes to put you in a happier mood give it a try it only takes 21 days to make a change in your life 2020, they say 2020 vision is perfect vision. Make it happen for you this year. You might have 2020 vision, but do you have a 2020 mindset? Ah, that is my challenge to you. Think about it. And now, to help us make things happen in year 2020, we have a very interesting person who's going to help you line up, okay, what will I call this, your mental, your mental cells, right? Line them up and put them in order because many people seem to be bright. They even are summa cum laude, first honor, gold medalist. But when we talk to them, they're, blah, they're just scatterbrained, right? Um, they're bright, but scatterbrain. If you want to get anything to happen for you in a quicker manner, you have to be focused and you have to have clarity. And we have somebody here who has mm, tips, tools, and techniques, and actually a method to help you make it happen. And so that I do this correctly, I am going to read everything it says on the recalling card. Her name is Pam Pickerdahl. It says co-founder and I know she is the lead trainer of the company. She's also a senior sport and performance psychology consultant. And that's very hard for me to memorize. I just know she's a sports okay, psychologist. And what she does is she uses the skills like in Olympics and the recent Southeast Asian Games, the skills that the winners use. She helps people use it in whatever field they are in. So it might be important the next time you meet a sports psychologist, find out what is it that winners in these high pressure games, right? That we can use in day to day living. So we have this person who is also doing what she's doing in Singapore, Indonesia, other than the Philippines. Okay, it's called Sport Psych Consulting, right? So now we have it, Pam Pickerdahl. Walk on over here. Thank you. Hello, come on here, come here so that you're in the monitor. There you go. All right. Hello, Pam. Okay, that's the monitor where you can see yourself. Mm -hmm. That is not where you look. <laughs> you look at the small blue light on the left. Can you see the small blue light? Yes, tiny, tiny. I can see. Okay, that's a camera. Now, what I know is you studied in America. Yes. And you are certified by this American group for mm -hmm. mental toughness. Yes, that's correct. And you're wondering why and how I met Pam. Well, I attended um, her learning sessions, her two-day certification yes. course. Yeah, 
and so this be over here um, other being a uh, uh, certified NLP practitioner no. neuro linguistic <laughs> programmer I am now a certified mental toughness coach. coach yes and 10 out of 10 people ask me what is a mental toughness <laughs> coach and what is mental toughness so you are the mental toughness guru yes you got certified by what group the research institute in the u.s mm -hmm. which research institute is this? the mental toughness research institute mm -hmm. now how do we make people understand what mental toughness is in plain social language if i'm at a party mm -hmm. how do i tell them what it is <laughs> the mental toughness it's what does um, it mean? I'm it gonna means, take a drink of water when Yes, you talk. go ahead. Talk mm -hmm. to the blue light. Mm -hmm. Yes, so mental toughness, it's a mental skill that you use for interpersonal abilities. Mm -hmm. That's big words. What <laughs> does interpersonal abilities mean? These include the teamwork, communication, how you interact in your relationship to the people around you. Isn't that what everybody needs? Yes, that's true. So <laughs> if you want to be more effective in your personal ab interpersonal abilities, then you have to learn these sm soft skills. You know what I tell people? I, I have these seminars, right, and workshops. When I tell people interpersonal skills, they're like, huh? Uh, but I'm an introvert. I said, well, you do have to talk to people yes, at eventually. some point in time. It's called <laughs> going to the fast food yeah. and talking to the person who cut in front of you yes. in the line, right? <laughs> so, you know, I, I told them, how about it's your social skills? Mm -hmm. Then they're like, ah, oh, they get it, right? Yes. And so I told them, we talk about social media, mm -hmm. but I said, how about human social skills? It's like people forgot to be human. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yes. Right. So now, what um, you finished? What psychology? Sport I have psychology? my master's in sports psychology. Hmm. Why would a person like you take sports? Why would anyone take sports psychology? Because these are some of the skills that make a person holistic. And that's a big word. Okay, yes. in plain language, what made you personally like? What I do is teach people confidence uh -huh. yeah. because I, I didn't talk yes. from grade 1 to grade 6 and <laughs> confidence was an issue. I didn't have it uh -huh. uh, because I, I was not exactly cute. I had skin <laughs> asthma and I didn't like people to look at me and the dots all over me. So I had no confidence. Yes. But I rose above it. Okay. Yeah. And I know what it feels like to be insecure. Yes. So that's why I am helping people gain confidence because it's not a theory or a principle mm -hmm. I know the feeling been there yes. done that I oh, think wow. we have the same experience Ms. V, oh, where so my confidence was down also when I got injured during oh. an athlete so that's why I wanted to take sports psychology so I know what's happening with my thoughts what's happening ah. in my head yeah why what happened when you got injured you thought it's the end of the world yes exactly because i really love my sport and ah. where i couldn't go back to the sport right hey. away that's why i have full of questions what's happening in my head why is it like this why is there's no support and when i've learned about sport psychology it all answered my why's and my why's in, in during the time when i was injured now that's interesting mm -hmm. how do we help more people learn mental toughness to me plain and simply put for me mm -hmm. is simple be focused and have clarity yes <laughs> you can't do this if you, yes. you're, you don't have focus and clarity yes exactly with what you said a while ago being clear is one of the things that we teach in mental toughness is become specific in what you want to achieve your goals mm. that's one of the things yeah you know, so many people, I, I, I help them, you know, mm -hmm. with coaching, mentoring, you know, mm -hmm. uh, consulting, guiding. I, everything they want so vague. It's yes. so general. Yes. It's, it's <laughs> like I tell people, you know, if you have a tumor on the upper, in the upper left lobe of your brain, you mm -hmm. don't go to a general practitioner. Yes, that's true. You go to a brain specialist. Yes. <laughs> so they get it right away when I say that, right? And so I said, why don't you treat your life the same way? Yes. They're like, Ah, oh, I know. <laughs> like what you said a while ago with the darts, you mm. have a bigger circle where that's your general goal, and mm. you have a smaller circle where you want it to become more specific. Mm. And the bullseye is the specific ones where you want to do every day. Because when you sum it up, it goes back to the bigger circle where this is what I want, and this is where I'm going, and it's very clear for you. Mm. So, it's like I want to go to Baguio. Yes. 
I want to know why I want to go to Baguio. So I want to go to Baguio so I can smell the pine somewhere where I think I can still smell the pine <laughs> in Baguio, not from a spray can, right? Yes. So I want to go. So am I going to go by bus? What? Uh, by car? Yes. By, by uh, point to point? Do they have such a thing? But I know they have... Um, one of my um, partners here, uh, Victory Liner. They ah, have done yeah. stop, yes, right? Direct. So you don't have budget, then you take the many stops. You still don't have the many stops, then you got the no aircon with many more yeah, stops, yes. right? <laughs> but um, knowing your why and then knowing how to get there, yes. and then you know what to do. Yes. And if you th think you still don't have money, how much you have to save every day to get mm -hmm, there? Mm -hmm. Now, how can we help people understand? why it's necessary to have mental toughness especially this show is for entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and um i've been on my own since i was 29 and mm -hmm. i will not say exactly how old i am but i'm a senior citizen right um you will have to be very mentally tough yes very focused and very clear when you're an entrepreneur because you are the boss you are the janitor, you are the messenger, you're the everything. Been there, done that, and I'm still there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am still there. All right. I, I can't afford a big corporation. I outsource when I have to, but the rest, oh, yeah, I'm the janitor. I'm yes. the messenger. So um, in what fields have you shared mental toughness? Mm -hmm. What do you call your course? We have the Certification for Mental Toughness co Coach. That's the one that I took. Yes. That's the one you give yes. everywhere you go. Yes. Right? Okay. So, in what fields have you shared mm -hmm. this um, uh, other than in the sports yes. field? So, we have several clients and participants from HR department. We oh. have from tobacco industry. Tobacco? From sales, yes. From sales and marketing also. And uh, we so also sales. had one from um, stock exchange. Okay. From trading, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because it's f full of pr pressure. <laughs> yeah, in the trading floor, and if, if I put money with you and you miss yes. the opportunity, oh boy, are you in trouble, right? So you need to be mentally tough to be really active and also observant of how things are going. Okay, why is it that many people are not aware mm about mental toughness because they think that if they memorize the book mm -hmm. the principle the the, the theory uh, they think that they're bright i said they're just parrots <laughs> 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 right because um in the workforce you'll be surprised the naughty ones are the ones who get ahead yes you know miss we because of the experience of the naughty ones mm. they get all the the practices that they can get when it comes to the mental skills unlike for those who are really into just reading uh, they don't have enough experience so when you see these people that really into experience they are more mentally tough okay let me tell you this if i seem brighter than some people it's because i've been not bright <laughs> more times than all of you put together but I learned my lesson specifically for every not bright scenario yes. see I never defend myself when mm -hmm. something goes wrong yeah. you will Pam you're never gonna mm -hmm. hear me say I'm only human it doesn't mean I'm not human yes. right but I'm never gonna defend anything I do that's not right <laughs> yes so those who are accept what their mistakes are they learn from the mistakes and that that's one of the skill that becomes mentally tough for you interesting I am not afraid to ask people where did I go wrong yes that's good that's a good skill and people are surprised at my age I still ask yeah. where did I go wrong how can I make it better yeah that's true because one of the things that we want people to know about is being aware awareness is the key to actually find out that okay this is my weaknesses therefore I want to seek and ask questions for the people exactly mm -hmm. See, there, there are some people um, that I help, mm -hmm. okay, and um, these are my words. I mean, they're young, they're new grads, and um, they can't afford to pay, so I just kind of take care of them, yeah. right? And they say, ah, I want a better job, I want to make more money, mm -hmm. I hate my boss, the usual stuff, yeah. right? And so I give some feedback, some observations, and some recommendations. Mm -hmm. 
And then someone said, but last time we met, you said I'm good na. So, mm. I'm fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Pam, can, can you please? I mean, I said you're good for step one. Yes. Can, can you give <laughs> some statement to that little blue light? I mean, like in sports, right? Yes. You're good, but you can be better, better, and best. Yes. Talk to the blue light there. Yes, for mental skills, it's a continuous development. Just like in any sport, you practice it daily, and then you become more, more better at it. So, when it comes to mental skills then you have to practice it regularly even if you feel that you're okay with the skill already then you just have to continue doing it and practice it until you get it better hi nako really i was so horrified because i had several steps in line for this person mm -hmm. and he said you know last time you told me point blank mm -hmm. good job yes and then now you're telling me i have more things to do i'm like you mean you thought you could fix your life in one step <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm in shock these are the people who have the, no idea what it takes to go from point A to point B. Like, I'm using the Olympics and the Miss Universe. Yes. You know, Olympics and Miss Universe, it's the same, huh? Yeah. Hey, look, huh? How many people have fallen while doing the walk? The walk, yes. Have stepped on Very their down. terrifying. <laughs> yeah. And forgotten just to say who they are and where they're from. And then they end with the horrible... That's all. Yes. By the way, never end anything on the mic with that's all. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, are some people born with it? Um, talk to the red blue light. I want to drink some I am, I'm a firm believer that when it comes to these kinds of skills, it's you can be teachable. So if you feel like you have that urge to learn it, then we're here, Miss V and I, and for the rest of the people who also are certified and also are have this kind of skill and expertise, then we're here to teach you how to do it. So it's really teachable and you, we can develop it. Now, I want to remind people to be mentally tough, mm -hmm. to be teachable, and to be more productive in one small step every day. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, one step at a time, one day at a time. Yeah. People should develop mental toughness to accept feedback, mm -hmm. whether they scream at you, <laughs> whether they laugh at you, make fun of you, mm -hmm. or just criticize you. Not all of them are trained um, trainers, facilitators, mm -hmm. or speakers like mm -hmm. me. But if they're trying to help you do something better, don't take the yuckies okay as an insult to your total person yeah just have the mental toughness to understand what is it they're trying to help me do to yes. help me become right yes, that's true when it comes to being mentally tough it's really accepting and putting it in a right perspective in a positive point of view that this person is actually giving me a gift like you said a while yes. ago yes that this is person is giving me a gift to make me better so that's a good perspective mm. yeah and i want to remind mm. everybody you know this mm. uh, my favorite coach roach right <laughs> Um, I don't think he says, excuse me, uh, Senator Pacquiao, uh, you would want to swing like that. He's going to say no. <laughs> right? yes. So that's the way it is. And again, my favorite uh, is Comoreno, School mm -hmm. of Hard Knocks. Mm -hmm. He got to where he is by reading, going through the eye of a needle. And I'm sure considering, I, I love this guy unconditionally, mm -hmm. you know where he is today and he's brilliant sharp he doesn't read notes he doesn't have teleprompters mm -hmm. you can ask him anything in the middle of the street and he's so focused and yes. clear i, I really want to meet that guy you know he learned that somewhere and i want to ask him who was the first person he's mentally tough yes right very confident also hmm. yeah Maybe I should make him uh, no, the poster child of Confidence Academy <laughs> Philippines. But then, you know, I tell people time and again, mental toughness can easily make a person confident. Yes. Uh, of course, you have to know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, you cannot <laughs> deliver garbage, though. No? Mm -hmm. And I have seen a pattern that people who are confident are mentally tough in using whatever it is they that know. They have, yeah. Because, Pam, you know, there's the people who are really bright. Mm -hmm. But then they fall flat on their faces when when there's a camera, yes. when there's a microphone. <laughs> and people have asked me, you know, Miss V, you used to have a TV show. I said, yeah, I had to stop it because these are 
big people in business, mm-hmm. no, they would freeze. Because when you're on TV, there's three cameras. Mm-hmm. There's the long shot, there's the left, there's the yeah. right, etc. Then you have so many lights and they freeze as mm-hmm. soon as they come in. So I, I had, you know, people don't want to guess it. Eh? <laughs> so I said, I have to stop this. I'm making people go nuts. And they're so eh, like that, right? So um, I'm, I'm now here and um, it is a show live on radio and we are live on Facebook, mm-hmm. live on YouTube, show and tell radio, no? But what is it, no? I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's mm-hmm. mental toughness. They're bright, they're excellent. They know the business, they know everything. And then some people at the end of the show, they tell me like, I messed up, didn't I? I said, what's your business? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have them learn mental toughness? Yes, Miss V, because the their talents, they're, they're being smart. It's, put, it's not put into proper use because they choked up. And one hmm. of the challenges when it comes to to public speaking is being choked being nervous mm. so if you want to face all of these challenges being mentally tough is one of the solution and we teach the skills like being the breathing exercises that you also give us mm. that's one of the things that we want everyone to practice oh great yeah so you're in the right track miss v <laughs> ah talking about the right track yeah um i won't mention the school our school is having our centennial it doesn't mean i'm a hundred years old the school is a hundred years old right and um like more than 90 percent of them are foreigners so we ex- exchange info like what year did you graduate and how old are you and so many of the foreigners told me like oh my god you can't be 20 years older than me and I'm, yeah, i am 20 years older than you <laughs> But it takes certain mental toughness to not let the yuckies in day-to-day Mm-mm. living yes. ruin your day. Yes, that's and true. That's how I keep looking like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's no Botox. No, I don't <laughs> even have blush on. Oh, none, oh, diba? So it's funny because I tell people it takes mental toughness to stop yuckies from ruining my day yes it's really choosing or having that switch of perspective now mm-hmm. okay i'm having a bad day today then being aware now okay this is what i'm feeling right now i'll have that imaginary tool of switch that okay let's do it in a positive note in a more funny or more happy thoughts so that's where some of the practice when it comes to mental skills we want everyone to learn that kind of switch and have that that instant okay this is a bad situation let's go to a good situation so we'll be look more like miss v well yeah <laughs> stress makes you look old huh? yes really. it's true. <laughs> i have a cute line eh? when people some people really want to ruin your day when they're not doing something exactly right mm-hmm. and those are not mentally tough get offended yes so when someone tells me something intending to mm-hmm. offend me yeah. huh? intentionally yeah i just look at the person and say that's your belief not mine turn yes. to the next page next. yes <laughs> and it just drives them crazy yes. where i say turn to the next page next mm-hmm. and when i do that on facebook everyone says i love that line I yes love it. I, yeah because you're you're yeah. not absorbing the no. negative effect of it eh? and which makes you more bright more happy and less stressed because it shows that you're mentally tough because you can't take in whatever negativity hmm. maybe we should develop mental toughness for health and beauty <laughs> yes oh, why it's not true, man. yeah diba many people they get so stressed someone said this they bash me online i'm like uh-huh. You know, whatever they write online is a reflection of their breeding, their character, and their mindset. Mm-hmm. So, let them, let the world know what mm-hmm. they are. Because you couldn't possibly write about something that's not a part of you. So, there. Yes. <laughs> so, we look at the blue light, <laughs> bam, and say, you write, that's you. <laughs> you write, that's you. <laughs> okay. Briefly, before we wrap up in a while, mm-hmm. are we allowed to tell them about um, the three B's and yes. the five C's? Oh, sige. Mm. Just go through the list. Uh-huh. Okay. She has three B's. Not not B as in Z- B. Okay, letter B. <laughs> yeah. Look at the blue light. What are yeah. the three B's? Three B's for our method is the basic goal setting. Basic two is imagery. And basic three is positive thoughts. Yeah. Okay. So, one goal basic setting. goal setting. Yeah. So, be clear about your goal. Remember the bullseye, huh? Mm-hmm. Not my goal. Just famous. My goal is to get rich. How? Oh, <laughs> diba? What, what kind of rich? Uh, what, you know, the rubber bank or what, right? Yeah. So, be clear. Bullseye clear. Goal mm-hmm. setting, right? Yes. That's B1. B2? It's imagery. Imagery is simple. If you can picture exactly what you want. Like if I tell you, 
Red apple. How red? Dark red? Light red? Shiny red? Dull red? Um, how big is your apple? Big mm. apple? Is it yellow at the top? Does it have a stem? Oh, you like yes, that, ano? Yes. So, again, Very back to specific. my... Yeah, clear, precise, yeah. concise, right? Mm. So, clear picture. Correct? Is that what imagery is? Clear yes, picture? Yes, having an imagination of what you really want to do. Yes. Like, if you were going to draw... Mm -hmm. Or put it in your gadget, di ba? Yes. You want to know what to put there, right? Yes. Okay, great. That's, that's B2. What's yeah. B3? B3 is positive thoughts. Oh, yeah. You know, this word positive, it doesn't mean unreasonable. Yeah. But like, when someone walks into the room and says, Hi, naku, miss me on traffic. I said, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Go to the ladies' room and talk to yourself. When you're finished, come back because I decided to have a happy day. Yes. I'm not saying giddy, ha, ha, happy, but I want my day to at least be pleasant. Yes. If you really want to ruin someone's day, it's not going to be me because I'm going to throw you out of the room. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's my room. Yes. It's my space. <laughs> right? So, again, what is B3? The positive thoughts, making sure that everyone or each an individual creates positive thoughts for you and for the others. Yeah. You know, I tell people... Mm -hmm. There's someone who just has a negative statement. Every time I try to say something, mm -hmm. what this person is deflect and say, but my boss, but my peers, mm -hmm. but nega. So I tell people, with all your negative energy, will you be more likable? <laughs> will it make you richer? Will it make you cuter? Will it make you have, what, a cuter aura? <laughs> no? Then I have one recommendation, one word. Ask me what the word is. What is the word, Miss B? I just look at them and look at the camera and say, stop. S-T-O-P, stop. <laughs> it won't make you richer. It mm. won't make you cuter. It yes. won't make you more likable. Why are you doing it? Stop. <laughs> yes. You like that, ano? Yeah. <laughs> new course, we'll make a new course. We're working on something. Huh? <laughs> um, yeah, very simple. S-T-O-P, stop. <laughs> okay, and then you have five C's before we wrap yes, up. Yes, for the five C's, it's composure. It's Wait, C1, composure. C1, composure. C2 is concentration. Mm -hmm. And C3 is confidence. Mm -hmm. C4 is coping ability. And C5 is cohesion. Okay, composure is very simple. Let's work on your anxiety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why, diba? Let's work on anxiety. Remember, inhale, exhale, and think relax. Yes. Okay? And think of yourself when you last thought you were cute. <laughs> no kidding. That changes people's <laughs> <laughs> countenance. Yes. Okay, second is concentration. Yes, your focus. Yeah. yeah, people say, but I have, I'm thinking of too many things, Miss V. I can't focus. Mm -hmm. You know what I tell people? I'm so focused that when you tell me you're thinking of so many things, are you insinuating that I'm not thinking of anything? Yeah. I'm thinking, I said, you, you think it's funny producing a show every <laughs> week, having a new guest, yes. uh, writing talking points, and putting their whole life in 30 minutes? <laughs> uh, uh, hello? <laughs> so, focus is a choice, but it takes mental toughness. You yes. know, I realized, Pam, that everything I've been doing here on this show and in my life for a long time now. Hi, hello, Suzette. Happy, healthy New Year. I love you. Yeah, my dear Suzette. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's my girlfriend here. <laughs> okay. So, um, I realized I've been practicing mental toughness. Yes. And it's great to know my seatmate, Jeff. Uh -huh. Remember, we were having our... Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we were doing our exercises. And Jeff said, ah, this is Miss Vinga. She's doing... <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Hope you're so, listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, true, no? Mm. Because if you're not focused, you don't get it, right? Yes, being aware of the distractions help you regain your focus and just picking up what you need to do on the right moment. To make that concise, I tell people it's still like the dartboard. Mm -hmm. You just put them to decide. You yeah. know, I have this little, you know, like, you call them the Howie boys, yeah. right? Oh, I'm passing through, yes. passing through. Okay, <laughs> so next is confidence. Yes. Well, yeah. Um, if you work on your insecurities that your mom and dad like your brother or sister more than you or your cousin was more famous uh, and more popular in school, I just tell people most of their confidence I, is, is based on hang-ups and insecurities from mm -hmm. childhood, yes. which they are carrying until now. Mm -mm. So my, my, for confidence, my biggest tip for them is simple. What date is it today? <laughs> How old are you? Yeah. And your issue is from what year? <laughs> and then I look at them and say turn the next page, page next yes. you like Stop that huh? oh there oh, applaud yourself for that for yes. our <laughs> make it a big round of applause <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay let's wrap up now and then 
the Excuse fourth me. is coping with challenges or just bring back yourself when you have challenges it's very simple you can feel people say don't feel sorry for yourself i tell people it's okay to feel sorry for yourself but give yourself a time limit it's called two minutes yeah if you have to cry which i do go to the cr and people say why in the cr i said so there's a mirror and you can redo your makeup <laughs> okay so um yeah it's it's bad naman to deny your feelings yes. identify your feelings and then um handle it then get over it and move on yes okay? that's true and the last is it's cohesion or this is what we call teamwork Okay, in plain language, it's getting along with people. With everyone. <laughs> I tell you, you know, people, teamwork, etc. And some say, I'm just a housewife. I said, yeah, well, you have to deal with your husband, your <laughs> wife, your, your helpers at home. And if not, well, the people when you step out of your house or condo. Yes. And then your kids and most of all, your mother-in-law. <laughs> people love that when I say the mother-in-law, everyone just laughs. Okay, before we wrap up, tell people. Um, your complete name, your company, telephone number, Facebook, go. We're going to wrap up website. Yes, line. I'm Pam Picardal from Sportside Consulting and you can reach us at 0917-875-0319. Facebook? Facebook website? is Sportside Consulting. Yeah, that's it. Sportside, Sportside Consulting and Facebook. Just search us <laughs> <just> there. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, thank you very thank much you, Ms. for being here today. We're going to do photo op. <laughs> yes. And I hope you've learned some tips, tools, and techniques. And we're here to help you. I am now, thanks to Pam over here, I'm now a certified mental toughness coach. And that helps because I've integrated into Confidence Academy Philippines <laughs> and with my NLP uh, practitioner skills. Come on, I want to make your dreams happen yeah. this year. So let's start now. We don't start at the end of the year. We start now, okay? <laughs> So there you go. I'm very happy that you're going to give yourself a chance to focus on exactly what it is that you want to happen this year. I am Miss V, director, producer, and host of Show and Tell Radio. Every Monday, 3 p.m. Manila time, DWBL 1242 AM radio, live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, Show and Tell Radio. Until next week, this is your host, Miss V, saying, mga kapamilya, kapuso, kapatid, ka sa katropa, kabata, kaibigan, ka-Facebook, ka-blog, ka-Twitter, ka-Instagram, at ka-YouTube. Happy New Year! I love you! Mabuhay!